worship our God. Awake, dear. Awake. It is time to worship. Let us look to God and pray. O oh God, our chieftain, open our hearts to worship you in the truth and in spirit. Clean our bodies to be valid worshippers of your holy sin. Enable us to propagate your values in us and to them who still are in darkness. We ask this name of your son Jesus Christ. Amen. Shall we all sing Vandanam Deva, Vandanam Deva? The ultimate aboriginal O Deva. You are the O Deva, O Deva. You are the just chieftain, O Yesu Deva. You are O Yesu Deva, O Yesu Deva, O Yesu Deva. You are the perfect dweller, O Holy Atma. You are O Holy Atma, O Holy Atma, O Holy Atma. We thank you, O Deva, for the benevolent mercies shown to us, for the space given to us, for the resources gifted us. Thank you, O Deva, for creating us in your image. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, 
may not discover and dismiss. Believe that our God, the Chieftain of our life, has pardoned us and want us to lead us, lead a life not under the bondage of anyone or anything. Be assured of the pardon, dear people. Now the speaker portion to return. Let us listen to the word of God as it is recorded in Psalms chapter 133. How very good and pleasant it is when kindred live together in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head running down upon the bread, on the bread of Aaron, running down over the collar of his robes. It is like that view of Harmon, which falls on the mountains of Juan. For there the Lord ordained his blessing, life forever more, here and study. मैंने सुनते सुनते देखा, देखो हर एक जाति और कुल और लोग और भाषा में से एक ऐसी भी भीड़ जिसे कोई दिन नहीं सकता था स्वर्ग वास्तव पहने और अपने हाथों में खजूर की डालियां लिए हुए सियासन के सामने और मेमली के सामने खड़ी है और बड़ी साफ से पुकार कर कहती है उधार के लिए हमारे पर ही सरकार जो सियासन पर बैठा है Uh, Shall we all stand for the gospel reading? Gospel according to Saint Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. Gospel according to Saint Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. Just then, a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, What must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, Who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road and when he saw him, he passed by on the other, other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan while travelling came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on him. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him. When I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spent. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, the one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. Here ends the gospel portion. My green home. had a home, green in color. So beautiful were the mornings there, evenings I loved the most. I too had a family, many in number. My father was black and was strong, and strong was he. Hugged always me, my mother. Post was only then, when I rejected. I too had a home, 
Do you really know us? Ever have you seen us? Oh, must have watched us on festive, dancing in feathers and in grass skirts. Must have laughed at, call us savage. Yes, we are, but noble, noble savages. I too had a home, green in color. Came to our home once an intruder, a guest uninvited. Called he himself the development. Treated we him with our fruits and our drinks, but wanted him more than we gave. The lands he had us taken bears our sweat. The resources he hided were of our ancestors. He was not alone. Behind him were Vedanta and Postpo. I too had a home, green in color. You have taken Narmada, you have split Damodha, and shifted where we alone, the indigenous. Paparized where us alone, the Adivasis. I too had a home, green in color. Existed never be on consumerism. Never had we a thought of accumulation. We have taken what we needed from our chami, the nature. But never ever have we in excess. You called us lazy and ambitious for this. We are not, but, I'm, but are and will be proud. I too had a home in green color. Now you are so eager to offer me home, asking us to come by, her wapasi. But where in that house is our room? Your home has only four rooms. Aren't we the Panjamas? Didn't you call us so? I too had a home, green in color. Yes, I am a Dalit, I am tribal and Adivasi am I. Accept that, I. Then why can't you? Why do you call us them? Why can't we be us? We have a home, green in color. Let us all stand and affirm our food. We believe in one God, the Creator, the Son, the Holy Spirit, 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 the Holy we believe in Jesus Christ, who has already given one call to the world, thereby becoming the icon of forceful and persistent. We believe in Jesus Christ, whose mission is inclusive. We believe that Jesus died on the cross, fighting against the unjust system of the world. And we have found that Jesus lost us. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who comforts, inspires, and empowers us to move forward towards our identity and to coexist peacefully with the nature. We believe in the universal church that includes an action of dignity and existence of all nature and power, with respect to differences. We believe in our baptism, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the world, life of the world. We pray for our women who take part in agriculture production, gather forest produce, do work, labor, and also bear the burden of domestic work, child rearing, rearing of cattle or cows. We pray for the lands where we do for the our level livelihood, as land is small. And unemotionable, the growth yield from it is less. And hence are we interpreted chronically. We pray for a change in this condition. We pray for the uneducated, unilterate, 
people of our tribe we pray that there will be day where ignorance will not be the causes for the death or displacement we pray for the community in which we live we pray that peaceful coexistence that the experience may be felt by the generation to come